I'm super excited. This is my November kit for uh, the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. It just came today. I have not looked at it yet. Oh. So I thought I would do like a live unboxing. How does that sound? Ah. Ah. So I'm going to put the card aside. We always get a lovely handwritten card from Christina. It's super cute. And then, she is like the queen of packaging a kit with the tissue paper. Um, so, for this kit, I asked her to base this kit off of the Prima line, Autumn Magic. Um, I love Prima. <laughs> I have some Zella Teal that I got to take along with me that she curated into a kit for me to take along with me to my retreat last week and or a couple weeks ago. And this is based on Prima's Autumn Magic. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Anyway. Uh, and let's see what we have here. Forget it, I can't salvage this tissue paper this month. Some months I can totally salvage it. That just kind of was like destruction. Right? So, my kit that I get every month is the $25 kit. Um, you get to choose how you want your kit to, you know, how much of a budget you have for a kit each month. Um, and my kit is based off of the fact that I get bored with things easily. So, I like... A smaller kit that I can just um, use up right away. So that's the kits that I like. And oftentimes, you know, I sometimes I pick a collection I'd like her to base my kit off of, but uh, quite often, sometimes I'm just like, yeah, surprise me. <laughs> Which is really nice when you have a kit curator who is a very good friend of yours and has known you for a number of years, and um, yeah. They can do that. They can curate a kit and make it perfect. So I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to start with the paper. I think this is from, there's like glittery stuff on my table now, but I think that's from the tissue paper. So my packaging, my kits 99.9% .9 of the time arrive in perfect condition. This one, the post office had some fun with, but that's okay because as Tim Holt says, paper has no memory, so this will all unbend itself. It's just a little wonky right now. Um, so I have this one, paper, which is a vellum. I have this one. This looks like, oh, so I think this is the Prima paper. I think it's from the paper pad, which is awesome. So this is a orange and black polka dot. But I love this side more, <laughs> so we'll be using this side. Pumpkin Love, so pretty. I like, I love these kinds of cards where you can write some journaling. Really cute. This is the Prima too. I think most of this paper is going to be the Prima. Looks like. But I okay. So this is from the Prima paper pad. But Prima is awesome because first of all, this paper is like really nice and super thick. First of all, second of all, it's double-sided from the paper path. The only other company I know that does that is Webster's Pages. So, good to know. So this one has some borders on it, and then the back side is this pretty pumpkin. This is phenomenal. This is gorgeous. So it's a wood grain, but it has these like little dots on it. Like, um, I don't know how to describe it. Like the little polka dots, really, really cute. The back side is another cut apart sheet, which is perfect. I love cut apart sheets so, so, so much. All super pretty. This one is stunning and beautiful, and it also has that like polka on it. And then the back side is just this polka dot, um, like an orange polka dot. It has these little like, um, I don't know if you can see that, like little stars on it. Really, 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 really cute. This is going to be super fun to play with. This is the type of paper that would make fabulous layers. Fabulous layers. One sheet of paper. 
of course, then we have this diagonal stripe too. So anyway, so this is all from, so all of my paper came from one collection this month and it all came from the Prima collection. So lots of really, really fun, fun patterns and things to, that I can play with. I'm super excited about a lot of these um, really, really fun patterns. And I love my vellum, so always happy to get vellum. So then we have all these goodies. So this is, this is probably 8x8 paper. Again, this would be from the Prima collection. It's from the paper pad because it has the little thing at the top. And 8x8 and double-sided. Yes. Okay. So this is that border paper that I have in the large size. I love, love, love to get things in a large size and a small size. Um, lots of different uh, dimensions and ways to use them. This one is gorgeous. Look at this one. All these gorgeous florals with the pumpkins. Love, love, love this paper. And then the back is like this... Um, it looks like stonewashed concrete, kind of. Really cute and pretty. Really, really like that one. This is the smaller scale of that beautiful Boca wood grain. So then I also have the smaller scale of the cut apart sheets, which means I don't have to make a decision because I can use the 12 by 12 on the wood grain as the background, and then I can use these as the cut aparts. And I like the smaller size of the cut aparts anyway. This one again, this is one I have in the 12 by 12 too, but fabulous, love that, because I have two different ways I can do it. I can fussy cut some of this. I can, um, you know, play with the smaller scale and the larger scale. So really, really fabulous. And this is that, again, I think what I did, I think everything is the smaller, like I got a 12 by 12 and then an eight by eight of the same pattern, which I love. That's fabulous. The only one I don't think that it, that happened with is this uh, floral, but this floral is beautiful. So, and that's okay because this one I'm kind of like, eh, um, but I love that floral. And then this one has that, um, this is like, oops, and I'm going to throw it around. Don't mind me. So this is the diagonal, but then this side is like that almost cut apart little piece. And that way I can use this diagonal as a background, but then I can cut this piece up and use it as layers behind my photo, which would be really, really pretty. Um, so then I got this awesome... Okay, this is English Country Gar Garden Signature Collection by Sarah Davies. This is a photopolymer stamp handwritten script. Look at that. How fun. This is from Cap Crafter's Companion. How fun is this? This is so, so cool. Um, I know a stamp platform that's getting some use this month. Look how awesome that would be. So awesome. Love, love, love that. And then we have... Oh, no, this is not, I'm so silly. How many times did I call this collection Autumn Magic? No, it's Amber Moon. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, oh, well, you know, that happens. So here are the puffy stickers. I kept looking on all the paper to make sure I was saying the name of this collection right, but of course I wasn't because, okay, so this is all Prima's Amber Moon. So here we have the puffy stickers. Look at the puffy stickers. Gorgeous, beautiful coffee mug. Awesome. Love, 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 love that. And then this is the ephemera pack. Okay, so I'm going to open this because I want to show you a Prima ephemera pack. They are, I think, the most fun and unique ephemera packs. So, so, so awesome. And so I'm just going to dig in right. I hope this one does what my Zella Teal one. So the Zella Teal one I had had all these tags with like string and stuff in it. I don't, I don't see that this one doing that. But ah, I'm dropping pieces. First of all, Prima ephemera packs are jam packed full. So that's amazing. And then they also have are different. Like they're really different. I just love them. Okay, so we have. These are like acetate pieces. And they have some lovely, lovely copper foil on them. Okay. 
So these are acetate pieces. It says, you are the pumpkin to my spice. I love that. That's super cute. This one says, fall in love. This one says, cozy. This is just a really light pink. It's pumpkin season. True love. How sweet. Coffee. Yay. And then this one is a little like, pumpkin-y colored heart. So this ephemera pack has these, which are like, I want to say that they're acetate, but they're not clear acetate. They're like frosted acetate, which is really, really nice. And then we have the, this is just kind of like your normal kind of paper ephemera. It's nice and thick paper. I'm just going to kind of push these off to the side. And then we have some pretty leaves. We have a little postcard. This says, Our Beautiful Life. Um, it's a little gardenias, acorn. Lots of tags, lots of different sizes for clusters and layers. And, um, Really, really beautiful, beautiful FMR packs. Um, like I said, this I also have the Zella Teal one, um, the FMR pack by Prima, and I cannot say enough good things about their FMR packs. They're so full and beautiful, just beautiful. This one is awesome. This is Fall in Love. This is Fall. Home sweet home. This is a little it says love this. Blessed for you. How cute is that one? This one says home sweet home. Little pumpkin. So thankful for you. Little circle pieces. Nice rectangle. How adorable is that bird? And the butterfly, and then another little pumpkin. So that's the ephemera pack, and I got the whole thing, the whole ephemera pack. I'm just gonna kind of shove that off to the side because I cannot salvage this packaging to save my life. So we'll just pop this over here. Okay. So now we have Another just this is a distress crayon. I love distress crayons. You guys love 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 them. Um, I got this is the brushed pewter one. How fun! I love distress crayons. Love them. So that is going to be wonderful and fabulous. And then, ta da! Some gorgeous stitching thread, and I will be hand stitching on these on my layouts for this. I will totally be hand stitching because it just kind of like screams. This whole thing kind of screams, stitch me and stamp me. Seriously, my whole kit does. And then I'm so excited to play with this kit, you guys. So excited. You have no idea. What's in here, what kind of fun is in here? So we have these amazing metal embellishments. I had, I've had a couple of these little embellishments in a kit in the past and they stick down so easily just with a little bit of wet glue. They're not heavy. They're metal, but they're not heavy metal. Heavy metal? <laughs> they're not heavy metal. Um, they're light. So it doesn't take much to glue them down. They stick down, you know, like the same adhesive you would use maybe for wood veneer, like a wet adhesive. That's what I would use for these. So we have these little silver hearts and then this super duper cute charm. Love, love, love that. Really fun. And then we have some of these gorgeous little jewels. These are going to go super fast. I can just see myself getting that being totally empty rather quickly. And let's see what we have here. 
Ooh. These are some gorgeous leaves. These are super thin. Some super thin, like nice wood veneer. So yeah, how beautiful. So this is my secret, not secret kit club kit for November. And I'm just going to give you a little peek here at some of the photographs that I want to take with it. So these are pictures of one of my brand new nephews. And look, you guys, this is going to be perfect for these photos. So hopefully... Well, if I don't get process videos up for all of these pages, you can certainly check them out. If you are a member of the Secret Not Secret Kid Club, you can check them out in the Facebook group because I will definitely be posting them there. Oh, wait. Nope, there's nothing left. That's it. And I almost always have stuff up on Instagram and stuff as well. So but I will try to get at least a couple process videos done with this kit. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again soon. Bye.